for a beginner to intermediate trader, how, when they're backtesting or when they're looking for a strategy, how um, rules-based should it be? Is that something where you'd recommend a student start off more rules-based and then shift into more intuitive or bending the rules? I know you give the Ben Roethlisberger example a lot. <laughs> um, so can you, get, can you actually talk about that and how that would apply to someone who's starting out in terms of rules-based trading and how important you think that is in the beginning? Yeah, so I, I think rules-based trading is important at all times. Um, now, the little, the, the cool thing about rules is that because they're your rules, you can make them whatever you want. So you can technically have rules that are super loose. Um, but I think as a newer trader, you need that discipline because at the beginning of our trading journey is when we're most likely to do the most dumb stuff just because we're we're new, we're young, we're kids, we're babies, we're, we're making mistakes. Like we don't know, we don't know. We sometimes think we can get away with stuff. So we need to be as strict as possible to ingrain kind of those rules, that routine in our head where it's like, this is what I'm looking for. This is how I take it. This is where I do this. This is where I do that. And again, with the growth process of a trader, trader over time and experience is going to be your best teacher. You know, obviously coaching and mentorship and books and videos and courses or whatever is going to help you kind of get in there. But experience is going to be your best teacher because there's nothing like seeing the live market because it does so many things that we'll never mention because it's just it's, it's always unique. And what you'll notice is that as you develop as a trader, you're, you'll start to see certain things but you may not know what they are. So you'll have that, that intuition will start to grow and tickle you. And you'll be like, ah, we're gonna go up. And like, someone's like, well, why do you know that? And you're like, I don't really know, but like, ah, I, I just have that feeling. And that feeling is really based off of, hey, you've been in the market putting in all these hours, you've seen it before, you just never really paid attention to what it was. Mm -hmm. So my advice is that when, when you have those intuition moments, like take a picture of the chart, and just save it somewhere. And then next time you have the intuition moment, take another picture. And before you know it, you'll start looking through that folder and be like, wait a minute, the last three times the market did this type of tight channel, it broke out to the upside. So now you have a kind of an idea of like, okay, this is the thing that I noticed that is that intuition. So now you can't just give yourself permission to just trade it. Oh, I feel like I'm going to trade it, but you can now assign rules to it. So now you can go, now that you know what it is, you can go back, you can dig into it, you can be like, Hey, every time it hits this level three times and the fourth time it breaks out, well, now you have rules. If price action hits this three times, then put buy stop here for the next breakout. Stops go here, targets go there. So you can start making it rules. And before you know it, it's added to your plan. So intuition is cool. I have intuition all the time. There's, there's a bunch of things I see in the market that I can't explain. I'm just like, man, it's going to go up. Mm -hmm. um, but I have to be disciplined enough not to take it, not to trade it because it's not in my rules. But what I'm trying to do as a trader, and this is how I continue to evolve, and, and this is part of the this was part of me becoming more aggressive because I would notice things like this, is whenever I see something or I, I feel something, I try to write it down. I try to take a screenshot of it. I try to take a video and say just you know, my thoughts at the time, and then eventually I revisit it and then put in the work necessarily necessary to kind of turn it into something rules based. And if I can do that, if if what I'm seeing actually has legs, it passes the back test results. Now I can add it to my plan. And now my plan gets a little bit looser because instead of just trading one way, oh, now I've got two ways to attack it. And now I got three ways to attack it. Now I got four ways to attack it. And it gets to the point right now where if I were just doing a random video of like how I trade it, you would think I would have no rules because there I have so many ways to attack the market. Right. But when we actually break them down, like everything is rules based. It's just I have four different ways. So it kind of it kind of seems a little bit looser than certainly than it was, you know, 10 years ago when I had to have five of these specific things happen. If it didn't happen, couldn't do anything about it. So you also started very strict. And then mm -hmm. <clears throat> as you got a sense that, you know, there's more to it than these five rules, you started to change those rules, but you didn't change them on the fly. You, you got the information and then you mm -hmm. made sure that the plan changed first before you took action on it. Does yep. Yeah. And it expands over time. It's very similar to parenting where it's like, Again, with my young kids where, you know, my kids, if, if my kid was one years old or two years old, whatever, and he's walking on the street, like I'm, I'm holding his hand no matter what. Because I'm like, he does, he's, he's not going to know to stop at the crosswalk. But as they get older, you give them, they still have rules, but they're not as strict where it's like, hey, we can walk. You don't have to hold my hand because I, I trust them a little bit more. So those rules, that fence of rules, you're always working within them, but they kind of get bigger as a trader as you give yourself kind of 
more freedom and, and, and more trust that you're going to do the right thing.